guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new haul video so today we are here for a mahoosive mahoosive cherries haul cherries has been incredible the past literally few weeks i have been shopping like a mad woman checking the new in stock checking new in this week and we have got some absolute little gems in here so as you all know i have worked with cherries a full a few times now in the past and i just absolutely love the site i buy on there anyway like when I don't do hauls, if I just need like a little shop. But essentially, if you love Home Bargains, if you love B&M, those sort of stores that always sell all the discounted bits, but branded items, you will love Cherries. Cherries is a mobile app. They do have a website as well, but highly recommend the app. It is so easy just to scroll through. It's like Instagram. And instead of like liking something, you just add it to your box. And then you can use referral programs as well. So if you refer friends and they spend a certain amount of money, you get money. You earn Cherries points as well, which you can then use to spend on different items. So certain items will be worth so many Cherries points. And generally all around, it's just a really fun and easy way to shop and their prices are so cheap. So they have given me a discount code for you guys to use today, which is Bella B20. This is going to get you 20% off your first purchase with cherries. I will leave all of the information down below, obviously I'm on the screen as you can see, but um, I will leave the link to the website as well down below so you can shop after this video. We have got so much, like I can't even begin to show you how big and heavy this box is. We have got a lot to get through. So buckle up, get yourselves a cup of tea, couple of bickies, sit back and enjoy. So, so, so much. Prepare for havoc, filming room. I've literally forgot what is in here. I just remember there is so much fun little stuff. There's obviously there's food because it's me. Bought these last time on Cherries and I loved them. These are the Crave Chocolate Roulette. I've seen the Craves in store, the red box, which is just a normal chocolate ones, I think. But I love these ones because they've got white chocolate, chocolate hazelnut and milk chocolate all mixed in together. This is a very naughty cereal in the morning. I do love it very much. I also picked up just some of these Nescafe Gold Blend Rich and Smooth um, white coffee things. Basically, we don't have any um, like cups. We don't have any takeaway cups. So I thought that these would be really good because sometimes me and Andy just want a coffee on the go like for walking the dog or whatever. Also picked up a Cristal um, dishwasher cleaner. Definitely need this. I am running very low on the one I bought in my Cherries haul before we even got into the house. Um, I got a shopping list. Usually, this one just says weekly shopping list. Usually, I do it on my phone, but I also like having this in the drawer just to drop, jot down if it's something that I'm out of, like something you wouldn't rebuy often. For example, sugar. Like, you buy a big thing of sugar, you wouldn't really need to replace that. Or we don't in our house anyway, because we don't drink tea or coffee with sugar. But, um... Yeah, I've got one of those because they're just so handy. I got loads of mine and Andy's favourite. We absolutely love the Skinny Cookie Co. cookies. If you haven't tried these guys, they are so good. They just taste like Maryland cookies. And I think for two cookies, it's 94 calories. So really, really low calorie. Um, and they honestly don't taste like you're having anything low sugar or low fat or anything. They are so good. I'm just going to try and get the boring bits of food out of the way. I also picked up loads of the Heinz um, cream of tomato and basil soup. These are our favourite soups. So I think they were on offer for like four for three pounds, I think it was. So I think I picked up eight of these guys. It's just probably what's made the um, the box is so, so heavy. Um, but yeah, I picked up eight of these. Me and Andy love them. They are so tasty and so good. So got to those. Oh, got another thing of cookies. Also picked up two packs of the mini cheddars. I love getting them on cherries because they actually have the um, different flavors that I don't really see in store. So we've got smoky barbecue. I know Andy will absolutely love this. That's why I picked that up. And then they also did a mixed bag. So we're just the original, the Red Leicester, and then also Smoky Barbecue in here too. Oh, it's a bit beat up, but um, <laughs> got a chocolate brownie mix. This is the Cadbury one. So good just to have in the cupboard. They taste great, easy to make. Everyone's happy. I 
picked up the one and only Dove, the Nourishing Body Care Visible Glow Self Tanning Lotion. I love, love this stuff. The glow it gives you is just perfect. I've also tried the Palmer's Cocoa Butter one, which I like, but I don't think I like it as much as this. I prefer the Palmer's Cocoa Butter um, bottle because it's like a big bottle and it's a pump, whereas these I find you can only buy in smaller like smaller things, but I always get the um, medium to dark. They do fair to medium, I think, but I recommend medium to dark because it really isn't that dark. But this has got a shimmer in it as well, so if you put it on and go into the sun, you literally look like a goddess completely. So I highly recommend these. They sell them everywhere, but of course, cherries is lovely and cheap. I get another, another cookies, as you can see, clearly. Very, very, very like these cookies. So that's now all the food. Now on to the home items. They had some really great little home bits in there. So starting off, how, how cute is this? When I seen it, I was like, I literally had something like this in my Amazon cart that was, to be fair, it was Chrome, but um, it says walkies and it's a little wall hook. How adorable is this? Honestly, I think this was five pounds, but I just think this is perfect. Obviously it's white and gray, straight to my theme, love it. And you can hang like their, obviously their collar, their lead, like his nighttime light up collar, little poo bag dispenser if you've got it. It's just spot on, perfect and so aesthetically pleasing. I think that is absolutely adorable. I then just picked up this um, regular Portland Living um, concrete heart vase, not a vase, what is it called, a pot, I think it is. Also, I have to say it as well, if you guys can hear any banging, I do apologize, Andy's in the other room there playing darts. You shouldn't be able to hear too much of it, so hopefully you can't, but I'm just, if I edit this and it's there, I'll be very annoyed <laughs> if I didn't explain what it was. But yeah, it's just a little plant pot. I thought this was really cute. It's just concrete. I could have this indoors, could have it outdoors, but I just thought that is a nice, easy one. And obviously, if you don't want the heart, you could just have it facing this way and have a standard, nice concrete. As you can tell, I really like concrete. By the way, this lamp, I've shared it so much over on my Instagram, but if you didn't grab this Aldi bargain, this was, I bought two of them. It's the most beautiful lamp ever, and it was so affordable. But yeah, it's basically the same as this, it's concrete. Even though we are coming into spring and summer, I do need a hot water bottle. So I just spotted this gray one, nice and easy and simple on the Cherries website. It's a hot water bottle, a plush cover, and I just don't have one. And there was a couple of nights where like, you know, if you've got like doms from being at the gym and the muscle pain and strain, or you've got a bad back maybe, you just, you can't beat a hot water bottle. It's so, so soothing. I picked up a few things for Jerry. They had a really amazing pet section. So the first thing I picked up was this Smart Choice non-slip lick treat mat. I've never seen anything like this, but we are about to prepare to allow him to be out of the crate when we go out. Basically, Jerry goes with us everywhere anyway, but if we need to go out and we can't bring him, he still has to go in his crate because he's still a puppy. So apparently the key to allowing them to come out and be okay in the house on their own. It's just having things to entertain them. So I picked this up and I'm just gonna spread it with like some peanut butter or something. Sticking on the whole like they have to stay entertained, I spotted this on Cherries as well, which is again the Smart Choice brand, but this is the Bone Puzzle, fun interactive treat seeking game for dogs. So I'm not really sure how it works. It looks like you put the treats underneath the little green things and then they've got to try and remove them I guess like that I'm not too sure it looked really good though so I thought again anything to keep Jerry entertained while we're out I will give it a go I also just picked him up another little blanket this is just a gray one with the white on it so it's got bones paws and little bowls and I just thought that's so cute honestly Jerry can't have enough blankets he's got blankets absolutely everywhere so yeah this is his new one which I'm gonna go put in his bed and then I think the final thing I picked up for Jerry is just one of these with things with the ball throwers, I don't know what they're called. Um, ball launchers, sorry, and it comes with the tennis ball. I'm not too sure how well we're gonna get on with this because Jerry is definitely not a fetch dog. Like you throw it and he just kind of looks at you and just goes like, do you, do you expect me to get that? Like, why did you just throw that? But you never know, you might be in the mood when we go over the park. So I thought I'd pick up one of these. This was literally like two or three pounds. I think it was two pounds. So, so, so affordable. Oh, I can't remember what this is, but it says, Oh, bone app 
petite bowl. Oh yeah, this is really cute. So this is um, not necessarily for pets. It's more of a home item, uh, if I can get into it. But when I seen it, I just had to get it. I thought it'd be really sweet for like in the front kitchen where Jerry like sleeps. But this is, I think, why is it in such a big... Oh my goodness, is it a set of them? I literally thought it was one. Bon Appetit, what? Literally, these are so adorable. I thought I was getting one and it looks like I've got four. Um, but it's these really, 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 really beautiful um, porcelain plates, I guess. And it just says Bon Appetit. Uh, but how like Ray Dunn inspired is that? I feel like that's very, very Ray Dunn. I thought I was getting one. And can you see, I've got like a pack of four. I definitely don't need four. What would you use four for? I'm not even too sure, but anyway, I wanted one. I thought that was so sweet. I could just put it out on the coffee table that's like near where he, in like in his room bit where he sleeps um, and just put a few treats out on there. But I thought that's really, really sweet. To be honest, you don't even have to put dog bone stuff on there. You could use this as a serving plate. I mean, again, I'm not too sure why you need four, but I love it. What great value for money. I think this was five pounds. I then picked up a couple of cushion covers that I've seen on Cherries, and I thought these were really, really nice. So these are two embossed cushion covers. They're 43 by 43. I picked up two packs of them, so I've got four. I thought these would look really nice in the front room because they just, can you see the texture on there? They're just really sort of like, cozy like they, they make me feel like cottage quilt vibes and I feel like that would look really nice in the front room because as much as I like pretty pillows I always find the pretty pillows are definitely not functional picked up four of these because they were so affordable I think again they were maybe four or five pounds for a pack of two so really really affordable I got them in white and they also did them in grey I then couldn't not pick this up I thought it was so nice so this is a luxe bathroom bath mat it's 46 by 76 and it's this really lovely gray and cream and it's a really interesting design as you can see it's like knitted but underneath it has actually got like a mat so it's not obviously really holy but I thought that was a really really nice pattern so I thought that's going to go in my spare bathroom and um, and it's really plush and very very soft again this was really affordable I think it was like seven pounds something like that and it's really big so you can imagine that's out like that I really really liked that and I have got grey tiles in my bathroom so as much as I love cream I do like to put a bit more grey in there because it pulls in with the tiles that we chose but we have one more foodie item of which I will definitely be eating after this video with a cup of tea Jaffa cakes I've got a thing for Jaffa cakes recently I just picked up a packet on the off chance in when I was in Asda the other day demolished it demolished. I picked up some mouthwash because I very much love mouthwash. I find it really like you finish this brushing your teeth properly so I got that. I then got this as well for the house for Jerry but for the house because it is a cushion. How cute is this? So they also had a white one that I think said reserved for the dog just like the generic one but this is a really nice cushion so this just says this is my spot you can sit over there with a little paw print and a heart um, and the back has just got the uh, paws on it. I think I'm gonna put this actually in Jerry's bed. I'm not actually sure. I won't put it out like on the sofa. He's basically got his own sofa in the front kitchen bit. So I was gonna put that on there, but I think to be honest, I'm gonna just put this in his bed because he sometimes likes to snuggle up into corners and he's got a big mattress in his crate. So this should be pretty perfect. So this was five pounds, I think. So affordable, but yeah, perfect for the dog as well. It's like really strong canvas rather than like thin like soft cotton material it looks like it's very durable and then i think the last bits for the house before we move on to some cleaning products some very good cleaning products is i picked up these natural led wax candles and they're battery operated so i love these candles for like um but like i've got can big candle holders that go on the floor obviously with a dog it's not the most sensible idea even without a dog it's not the most sensible idea to have a lit flame possibly somewhere that could be knocked over onto carpet or floor so picked up these guys I think they were doing a deal because I was only going to get one and I think it was like 
two for six pounds or one for four pounds, something like that. So that's why I ended up picking up two. Oh, I random purchased as well, but I picked up a set of these bamboo toothbrushes. You get three in a pack. I just thought I'm gonna leave these in the guest bathroom in case anybody's forgotten their toothbrushes. So they're just disposable ones. Although I'm not gonna lie, it's putting my teeth on edge a little bit, the thought of a wooden toothbrush. But aesthetically it looks nice, so it's fine. <laughs> So for cleaning items, I did pick up some lint rollers. These have been massively needed. This was a pound, I believe, and you obviously get two refills in there as well. So I don't know how I've had a dog and not had those before, anyway. I also picked up a, another Fabulosa, of course. I love my Fabulosas. This is the Black Cherry Merlot scent. I knew I was gonna love this. Let's have a smell. Oh yeah. Oh, I just love the smell. I don't like cherries. Yeah, I like cherries, but I don't like eating cherries, but I love the scent of it. Like the cherryaid is like my favorite thing in the world. The bar cherryaid, oh, so good. Um, and I just love the smell of fake cherry, but I just, I don't like eating it, but the smell is so good. Okay, that is awesome, love. And then I had to pick up a Zaflora. So I decided to go for something different. This is the Midnight Blossoms. Haven't smelt this before. I think this is just a classic. I thought this would be quite nice for spring. Ooh. That's not really that floral, actually. That's... I'm really not sure what that smells like, but I really, really like that. I don't know if there has been a Zaflora that I don't like, to be fair, but I would definitely repurchase that. That smells really nice. If you like floral, but you don't like, obviously, like, old lady rosy smell, I think you'll really like that. I then decided to try, I seen somebody else haul this and I was really interested in it. The pink stuff, the Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleaner, non-drip formula, removes and prevents lime scale, sparkling streak free. So basically it's a foam spray, which I was really appealed to. I really like the pink stuff packaging as well, but I've only tried their, the pot, I've tried this, the paste, but I use their cream cleanser for my, a hob like for where things get really really greasy but i've never i completely forgot about like just trying regular spray products so i'm excited to try that for the bathroom i feel like that would be really good i've never also tried their toilet cleaner so this apparently is the miracle toilet cleaner so yeah hopefully that's good as well i then picked up a couple of items from astonish just the same ones because i get through these so quickly, this is the Astonish Daily Shower Shine. This is in the scent Hibiscus Blossom. Astonish have been bringing out a lot of new scents recently. I'm sure you guys would have seen them in store. The last one I had of this was the White Lilies. Really liked that as well, but I decided to try the Hibiscus Blossom. So I picked up a couple of those. If you don't know about Shower Shine and you do have a shower with glass panels, you just literally finish showering, spray loads of this over and leave it and it just gets rid of all the streak free, all the streaks like from where you, where the water's left. Um, so yeah, you don't even need to wipe it, just spray and leave it. Oh, no, I did get one more Fabulosa. I should have known that I can't pick up just one. This is the Intense. I'm pretty sure I've had this before. No, I didn't. I had the Aventus or whatever it was called, the one that's not like Creed Aventus. Oh yeah. This one just smells like, um, Oh, this one just smells like men's aftershave. Can't go wrong. Love, love, love that smell. Oh, I picked up, <laughs> I picked up a cat litter scooper. No, I don't have a cat, but I thought this might work well with Jerry's number twos in the garden because he is very little dog, so he does very little business. So when we're doing our mass pickup, I thought this might be useful. We'll see. I had to get these, so cleaning but also home because they're not actually full. I picked up three of the refillable cleaning bottles. So I got the all of the ones that they do. I got Shine, Spritz, and one that just says clean. Um, the clean one's a little bit scratched up there. But anyway, the Shine one, and probably my favorite is the Spritz. Because I always say, just have a little Spritz of this and Spritz of that. Yeah, if you're like me and you like um, Zafloras and Fabulosas and you like, you know, basically mixing your own sprays, then these are really, really handy. So although they only say that on them, you could also just get a little label maker and put at the bottom, for example, like Fabulosa or window cleaner or whatever you want. And also if you don't use those, you can just decant any of your bottle stuff into these. Just thought they're very cute. They're very Mrs. Hinch. These were like all the rage at one point, but I just, I really like them. I thought they're always gonna come in handy. I then picked up some more shampoo and conditioner. 
my go-to all the time is herbal essence cheap cheerful and very very good i really like the feel of it this is the flamazing smooth deep moisture shampoo for dry hair so um it's just like this i got the matching i always like to get the matching sets and i like how they sit in the shower like that just neatly together and the final things that i picked up are this well is this little notebook here which i thought was so pretty although it looks like it's i think it's meant to be like that though it's very faded but it says pretending to be organized and it's just a little notepad you can't ever have enough notepads i loved the color of this as well this like taupey purpley violet really nice and then i got this pen as well to go with it which is just a white little pen with this really pretty geometric heart on the top as well i think that was a pound and i think this was also a pound as well but i love these pens i get through them really quickly and also it's nice because i've got like a pen holder so i just like the ones that are slightly more pretty they're just more aesthetically pleasing so picked up those two and the final item I picked up, which I very much needed, like ASAP Rocky, is a new water bottle. I spotted this one on the website and it said hydrate. And it's just a nice plastic, easy water bottle. Um, for the gym, I usually I do have my big two litre bottles, but they don't fit on my bike at the gym, like when I do spin and things. So definitely this is been needed andy bought me a really good quality one for christmas and i've lost it and i've literally been lost without it completely i have no idea where it's gone it's actually perplexed me anyway got another water bottle and this was about two pounds i think so guys that was everything i picked up at cherries an absolutely major haul today i tried to put a lot more home stuff in there because i know you guys like it obviously i do pick up some groceries because you can't not you got you literally can do everything on cherries so if you haven't already make sure you download that app and if you are a new customer remember you can get 20% off your first order with the code BellaB20 so definitely take advantage of that and if you do order anything from cherries please show me tag me over on Instagram if you do a little story or anything about what you've got I love seeing what people get and check every week they get new stuff in all the time maybe even got a section on there that says new in this week um so you can keep on top of what they're doing and what stuff they're bringing in so thank you guys so much for watching again a big thank you to cherries for working with me on today's video i'm very much looking forward to the next one and apart from that guys remember to stay safe and stay beautiful and i will see you all in my next video ciao